Hello everyone. Today in this video, we are going to start the discussion of Marpol 7378. So before I start the discussion regarding Marpol 7378, I would like to discuss a small case history regarding marine pollution. First of all, what is marine pollution? Marine pollution is the contamination of sea water. It may happen by operational causes or accidental causes by ships. One such case history is of Torre Canyon oil spill. Torre Canyon oil spill was one of the world's most serious oil spill. On 18th March 1967, a super tanker Torre Canyon ran aground on rocks off southwest coast of United Kingdom, uh, spilling near about 25 to 36 million gallons of crude oil. It was the UK's most roast oil spill to date, causing a massive marine pollution and environmental damage with near about 20,000 marine birds contaminated. This incident fueled intense anger around the world and the cost of cleanup was about uh, 5 million US dollars. And many more accidents had took place which causes a massive marine pollution. So this accident post IMO to bring out several new conventions related to safety and pollution prevention and thus marpol convention was introduced the marpol convention is the main international convention covering prevention of pollution of marine environment by ships from operational causes or accidental causes now let's discuss something more about marpol 7378 so marpol 7378 known as the international convention for the prevention of pollution from ships covered pollution by oil chemicals harmful substances in packaged form sewage and garbage actually these are some causes of marine pollution by ships it also include noxious uh, some noxious liquid substances now the question is that why it is known as marpol 7378 actually the marpol convention was adopted in 1973 but it was modified by the protocol of 1978 see the combined instrument that combined instrument of 93 1973 and 1978 is referred as the international convention for the prevention of marine pollution from ships okay in short it is known as marpol 73 as modified by the protocol of 1978 so it is known as marpol 7378 and it entered into force on 2nd october 1983 you have to remember this date it is actually important and many times it is asked in your rules and vibes now let's see what is the objective of marpol 7378 so the objective of marpol 7378 is to eliminate the pollution of the seas by oil chemicals some noxious liquid substances and some other harmful substances which might be discharged during the operation and also to minimize the amount of oil that which is released due to the accidents collision roundings etc so the objective of marpol is to prevention of pollution of marine environment from ships by accidental causes or operational causes but you know also after the implementation of marpol with such objectives so more oil spill incident happened one of those is about exxon voltage the oil spill of exxon voltage was really a massive damage to the marine environment i will like you to go and search about the oil spill of exxon voltage it took place near about alaska the oil spill of uh, exxon voltage was really a major concern and that's why marine pollution is really a major concern and that's why Mar marpol 7378 is introduced the regulation of marpol 7378 covering the various sources of ship generated pollutions contained in six various annexes so let's discuss about those six annexes of marpol 7378 so the annex one is regulation for the prevention of pollution by oil it came into force in 2nd october 1983 the second annex is the regulations for the control of pollution by noxious liquid substances in bulk it came into force on 6th april 1987 the annex 3 is the regulation for the prevention of pollution by harmful substances carried by uh, sea in packaged form it came into force on 1st july 1992 the 
the fourth annex is regulations for the prevention of pollution by sewage from ships and it was came into force on 27th September 2003. Fifth annex is regulation for the prevention of pollution by garbage from ships. And this came into force on 31st December 1988. The last annex, annex sixth, is regulation for the prevention of air pollution from ships. And it came into force on 19th May 2005. So these were the six annexes of Marpol 7378 covering the major sources of ship generated pollution. In our next video, we will discuss about these annexes one by one separately. So this was the introduction of Mark Wall 7378 and how it came into force. So I hope you will like the video. So please click the like button, share the video, subscribe the channel and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you so much.